let me make it very clear, based upon what the court looked at, he has never had a Michigan license, ever, and has never had a license in the other 49 states and commonwealths that form up this great union. He has never had a license. He's been arrested again. All the things we talked about in the last video, we said no one can be this stupid, and then new evidence came along, gave us a whole plot twist that <clears throat> all of us felt stupid by judging this guy too quick. It was all not true, because new evidence came to light with another plot twist. This shit has more plot twists than any movie or series I've seen. This shit has more plot twists than Wolverine fucking dying and then coming back to life in the next movie and then the next movie, then he dies again and he comes back in the next movie. This shit has so many plot twists because guess what? All along, he never had a fucking license. Ever. Now, if it's your first time watching this, you don't know what the hell is going on. Let me give you a quick rundown. This man over here had a court hearing regarding his suspended license in May of 2024. And in the hearing, he popped out like a real G and he was driving while it is his suspended license court hearing. And the judge was just was giving brain farts and he know what he didn't know what was going on he was shocked because in all his years he've never met anyone this stupid the whole internet made a joke about him and he was ordered to turn himself in and serve a two-year jail sentence and then two days ago new information came to light the video we made yesterday that he, he actually got his license back in 2022 when he was suspended in 2010 and he is good to go on the driving this whole thing was a just a fuck up from the court side documents that some rookie maybe just missed to file it in it was not updated yet in their systems so the man was released he went on and he said oh my god this was such an embarrassment like for me getting arrested for no reason and the whole community the whole church everyone sees me in a different way now because i became a whole meme on the internet and people just don't respect me anymore and we mentioned in the last video, if he actually got his license back in 2022, why didn't he tell the judge that, yo, I got my shit back. I'm good to go. But he never mentioned any of it. We thought he's the type of guy with a golden fish memory that he forgot what he even ate this morning. But now we know the reason why he never mentioned it in the first place to the judge. Because he never fucking had a license in the first place. Simpson learned this because he found out in December 2023 when Harris said he was laid up in bed with injuries from a traffic accident. He visited the Secretary of State's office to have his state ID renewed. In Michigan, residents can either have a state-issued ID or a driver's license, but not both. Now, if you don't know what's the difference between a state-issued ID or a driver's license, why can't you have both? In most countries, you have your you know, state ID and then you have your driver's license, but in the US, a driver's license will allow you to operate a car and serve as a means of identification. A state ID card will serve as a means of identification. However, it will not allow you to operate a car. So if you apply and you get a driver's license, it can be used both as identification and it will be legal for you to drive a car. If you do not have a driver's license, you should 100% get a state ID in case you get stopped by law enforcement or if you want to open a bank, open an account, whatever it is you need your state id it is mandatory but you cannot get both so a state id has one purpose identification and a driver license has two purposes driving legally and identifying yourself as well so what the judge said about the situation in december 2023 Har harris the guy who claimed that he was in a hospital after a traffic accident he said that he he couldn't move he was in bed he was laying up with injuries but then once the judge made his investigation he found out that he actually went to renew in the same december same month that he had his accident he went to renew his state issued id why because he never had a driver's license in michigan you cannot have both the judge said that he has religiously every year gotten a new id and so he knows that he doesn't have a license and quite frankly i wish he would have said this at the beginning and all of this hoopaluva could have been put aside bro literally pulled a move that only say sorry if you're caught he thought that if he doesn't say anything people are not gonna find out and they're gonna be like oh okay he thought by him not telling the truth just hiding it all out letting it all play out by itself he was testing his luck he was literally gambling with his shit and then he found out he's he has to turn himself and shit went south this also explains why he never showed the real information with the lawyers because he was literally just lying to everyone and he thought he could get away with this whole thing he kept he kept 
everyone in the dark, even us. The judge did acknowledge the process that can be complicated and asserted. It wasn't anyone's fault other than Harris who didn't pay the fee or take the steps required of him. So bro could have literally just resolved this with maybe serving a little bit of time and paying up to like a few hundred dollars of fine. But he didn't even want to do that. He wanted to get away with all of this entirely so after everyone on the internet making fun of him felt bad that it was actually the court's fault they were just bad justice system that they accused this man because he didn't do anything maybe he had some sick conditions that he forgot everyone felt bad for making fun of him well that guilt is no longer with us and the people who went to the extent to make fun of him to the extreme well, they're not going to hell anymore and they can take their apologies back because bro was literally that stupid after all i wonder what else was a lie as well was he actually taking his wife to a hospital to emergency medical care or that was a cap too he was just testing his luck with another lie trying to see if he can get away with it or not now the new lawyer who was defending him did not know this information as well obviously because he kept her in the dark as well but now she's saying like how can we resolve this how can we fix this but how do we go forward and that's why and that's why i'm here to sort of minimize you okay can he he, he did get into an accident may he sit down can he, may he clean your no one's believing your shit bro get up it's just getting more embarrassing and embarrassing this reminds me of the situation where i don't know if you remember that video that surfaced that went viral that it was a court hearing in africa after the guy scammed like hundreds of people and he just pretended like he's faint he fainted and he was putting a whole act in front of everyone are you aware that every expenditure you make Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. Now his next hearing will be in August. I don't know if he's he will be held in a jail cell, probably for more offenses that he lied to the court, he lied to the judge. I'm not sure about that. There's no um, news about this. There's the, no the articles are not saying anything. But all cards are revealed now. Everyone knows the truth after the judge decided to do his deep dive. And there's no getting out of it this time. Maybe the judge will be kind enough in the court, court hearing again in August and give him a break, which I highly doubt because this case is getting too popular and they were making fun of him. Then they were making fun of the courtroom that they messed up the files and now they're making fun of him again, which I will not be surprised if there is another plot twist as well. This is, you might think this is the season finale of this whole thing, but I'm not falling for it. You shouldn't either. This whole thing, this guy is unpredictable. This whole case is unpredictable. We don't know what's going to happen. I truly hope there's another twist to this whole thing as well. Maybe in his August hearing, he's going to come out and identifies himself as a driver's license. And if the judge laughs at him, they're going to cancel him. I don't know what the fuck. I just hope there's a new twist to this because I'm so invested in this case. I look forward to the hearing again in August. I'll either be disappointed or very satisfied. If this whole thing gets another twist, I'll share the updates with you. But I just thought this... But yeah, I just thought I'll share this update with you guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Take care of yourself. I'll see you at the next one.